Hi everyone, and I join on the page today, and I have a vague idea what I want to do. I just want to play with colors. I've got these uh, circles that I've punched out of a book jacket, and I really like them. And I picked uh, acrylic paints that will uh, correspond with the colors here. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them on the page, but I do know that uh, I want to play with them. And I'm going to start with just smearing paint, which is a great play. And as you know, uh, well, I can't uh, be sure that I will <laughs> uh, use the circles, but that's the starting point for me today. So I'm just going to pick some of the paint uh, with the baby white. I'm uh, working in, this is a sketchbook and I've already gessoed the page because the paper in a sketchbook um, is not really a good when you are uh, using wet uh, mediums, wet paint, so I was, I wanted to be sure to have a, a good primer on my page and so I've got this turquoise uh, this I don't know peach um, raspberry pink and uh, for white I've got a uh, gesso here so I'm using the gesso to mute uh, several uh, places and I'm just going to fold it to another place now that I'm taking another color and this is quite random I am not planning I'm just putting down paint and we'll see what happens moving to the next color So as I said, this is quite random and now I want to add a little bit of uh, the gesso so I will have a more blended uh, look and it also, of course, it's white so it blends and makes a little bit more uh, variation in the color. I think it helps to blend uh, between the colors and now I've got a more uh, diffused look, uh, a little bit uh, softer and I can uh, manage to do it because I've got the gesso underneath so, so the page didn't soak uh, the paint right away so I can move it and play with it and I really like it I just need a little bit more gesso here it's a little bit too bright and yeah this is the first layer of my background and of course when left with paint I'm taking the net no my notebook for excess paint and very very randomly putting down paint my only this is again quite random the only advice about this because several people mentioned I don't have this kind of painted papers and or I don't have uh, this nice uh, <laughs> painted papers the only advice I can give you about it is make a pattern it doesn't really matter what pattern it is just make a pattern 
our eyes are looking for uh, to to find patterns in whatever we are uh, looking at so as you can see even here I'm letting the colors mix So this is just another example of what to do with your excess paint and how to make more painty papers for future use. And again, even here, this will be only the first layer. I'm just putting it down and I will probably stencil on it or stamp on it whatever I will <laughs> have in the future <laughs> to use here so this is only the start moving this away and another uh, uh, question that I was asked about how I keep my brushes clean and not uh, how do they not harden uh, no matter what you are using, if it's acrylic paints, any kind of glues, uh, mediums, uh, gel mediums, uh, matte medium, whatever you are using, what I do, I just stick, uh, when I'm finished with the brush, I'm sticking it in a jar full of uh, warm water, with, uh, I have here a few drops of uh, dish soap, dish soap, so this is in the jar until I'm uh, finishing with the project and then I'm going to uh, clean all my brushes and cleaning the brushes uh, there are silicone mats little silicone mats with texture for cleaning uh, makeup brushes and I buy them and I clean my paint brushes on them because basically it's the same thing so let's see I almost got here yeah I think it's dry enough I want to stamp in the background and I've picked I've taken some uh, this is some letters clear uh, acrylic stamps and I've just uh, took random letters and placed them on this acrylic block and now I'm going to stamp away now I uh, am, um, where did I put my ink pad? I'm going to use black in the hopes that it won't uh, uh, overwhelm my page, but if it will, I will just push it back with gesso or something. Right now I'm just using this. So, as I said, random letters in random placements. Like this. Don't know why, just wanted letters in the background. <coughs> sorry <clears throat> okay so I've got this and let's put a little bit more here and just a little bit here and I still want to add to this background with stamping and let's see I've got this stamp that I really don't care what it says I it has letters it's got interest so that's what I'm using to add yeah again quite random I don't even try to stamp the whole thing
Yeah. So, moving this aside, and oh, I'm messy today. Let's see. What do I want to use? Yeah. I'm going to use this. Uh, no, I don't like this piece here. So let's change it to this one. Yeah. So I'm just going to glue them down. And well, I'm not going to wait for this. This is almost finished and it will take a long time until the glue comes down. I told you that I'm messy today. Here it is. Just a glue stick, just make sure you are covering the whole thing, especially the edges. Usually I don't use a glue stick. Um, most of them are not uh, strong enough but i don't know this came in my cheap store and i've tried them and they are strong so yay for me if not i would have used another kind of glue so let's see here yeah quite random and now i want to just this is a permanent a black uh, marker. I'm thinking some loose circles all around. Or I've got a stamp that I love that can work here. Let's see. Where did I put it? Here it is. Love this stamp. Let's see, do I want the whole circles or only the bigger one? Let's see, I'm just placing it to see how it works. I think I'll use this too. So taking an acrylic block, placing this. And again, I'm using Momento uh, Tuxedo Black. Love these ink pads. Yeah. That's what I was aiming for. Now I need to be careful right now with the ink here on the circles. The circles, as I said, are from a book jacket and they are glossy. So it will take a longer time for the ink to dry on top of this. So I need to watch myself and not smear the whole thing. And the third one. Very loose. okay so I really like it and I still think I need some more circles in the background and I'm going to uh, go and look for something that I will like in the background and I'll be back I'm back so I've looked for something that will work with my uh, page without, again, I don't want it uh, to overwhelm uh, the page. I want it to add to the layers of the background. 
So I've picked this uh, stamp and I hope it will work nicely to just add interest. Yeah. Basically something like that I can do by hand, but I'm I'm lazy. I've got a stamp. I'm going to use it. <laughs> I like stamping out of uh, the edges. I think it's more interesting this way. And yeah. Oh, I like it. This whole mess, I really, really like it. Moving this aside, now I want to make some focal point. And I've already a uh, thought about it and I want some leaf here and I'm always doing the same uh, leaf if there is something that I can call my signature it will be this kind of branch with leaf I'm really doing it very loosely like so really don't care oh if I could have made this into a stamp and always stamp I will always stamp it so something like that now what I want to do I want it in green colors like this with from a water water colors and these ones are from Flying Tiger. I really like this kit. You can take it everywhere and it doesn't take a whole lot of space. So what I'm going to do, I've used a permanent uh, marker. So now I can just dip a brush in and again, everything is random. I'm not trying to be accurate. I'm just putting color having fun it really doesn't matter and you don't have to use uh, watercolors you can uh, use chalk pastels you can use whatever you can use acrylics I just uh, figured this would be more a uh, light and the water will just blend everything So it really doesn't matter so of course this needs to dry I already got here a place where I uh, put some color so I can do the same thing here I'm in frame and you can see what the heck I'm doing not that it's so interesting <laughs> so here it is and I want to add interest to the leaves I already done two other branches so we want to uh, be here all day waiting for <laughs> the paint to dry and I'm taking this uh, stamp uh, it looks like a uh, something from a newspaper and again taking this stamping just so it will get in the leaves and I'm not uh, concerned that uh, everything will be uh, covered now I'm taking uh, nail scissors and I'm going all around and I'm not trying to be uh, accurate I am intentionally um, wait this is this is wet and it's in my way I'm leaving edges I think uh, it looks uh, better this way than fussy cutting this branch with leaves so 
and everything here was done loosely so I'm going with the same thing everything is loose and not uh, symmetrical or accurate trying to be quick about it let's get the excess it's in my way of course it's easier to cut when you are not trying to be fussy about it and stick to ed the edges moving this aside so I've got this one and I've got two others that I already made and I want to place them here and make some mess again very very loose everything here and not quite planned I think that's how I'm going to put it so now I'm just going to put some glue and stick it down it will take me some time to go over all these leaves but I'll do it I'll be back I'm back so this is uh, adhered to the page and I just want to add a little bit of well shadowing or more definition for these branches and also I want to lighten this area just so I can write something here so what I'm doing I'm taking again a baby wipe with a little bit of the gesso that I've got left here and I'm just adding I don't want a complete coverage I just want an area to lighten an area here yeah this is it and now <coughs> sorry I want more definition for the branches I thought about using <coughs> as always that's stabile all but decided eh, I don't want black here I'm using <coughs> the purple gelato and eh, I can't read it I think it says grape it's so small I can't read it and I'm putting it down now you don't have to have gelatos you can uh, use whatever you want you can use the stabile all you can use a um, um, watercolors whatever you want so I'm just getting a underneath and I don't know how if it will be as I think it will I'm just I just want a little bit uh, darker underneath but I don't want cover up so that's what I'm trying to do in the hopes that it will work so as you can see I just put some gelato here we, and took a little bit of water and I really hope that it will add to the whole thing without covering this is not an exact science it doesn't have to be and this whole page is as I said very very loose so it's not like I'm trying to frame the whole branches just in several places where I think it needs more definition and when I'm doing this kind of thing like 
well let's call it drop shadow then it just goes underneath the leaves because I'm trying to make it look almost like a shadow yeah so I think I need a little bit more here it doesn't take well uh, on top of uh, the circles again they are glossy so it's difficult it a little bit here so it will blend yeah just making it disappear into the background so I won't have harsh hair lines and basically this is it I just need to write here where I've done uh, I've put the gesso and basically this is it for my page so that's that and let's see I've got this a uh, calligraphy felt pen from Zig and let's see Wild. Ah, didn't go so well. And free. Yeah, this is it. That's my page. I really like all this mess I've done here and how loose it is. And well, I had fun. So I hope you try and have fun yourself. Just smear paint and stamp away and glue things <laughs> and make your own focal points. So this is it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.